San Francisco is one of the most influential cities in the world. We are home to many of the top companies in the world, including Facebook and Apple and Google, Airbnb, Uber and Lyft, and many, many, many more. Uh, there are people from all over the world here. Uh, we have a, some of the top world-class universities here. And we need a lot of churches to reach these people. There's a great influx of people coming in. As a result of the phenomenal growth and influence that we have, we take church planting very seriously here. Um, we are planting churches throughout the Bay Area to reach the down and outers, the recent immigrants, the tech workers, and the influential and affluent people that are living here. The reason I came to P2 Missions is, um, at first I really wanted to experience something new. Um, I've been to um, two world changes before then, and uh, we just decided as a youth group to try something different this year. I came to PT Missions to help people. Well, first I kind of like wasn't planning to come, but um, someone like suggested it. They're like, oh, you should go again because it's kind of my like fourth or like fifth year. Mm -hmm. And then I, I was like, oh, why not? Let me just come and I guess like try it out again. To spread the word and um, to be involved with the church. I came to P2 Missions because I wanted to be a part of something bigger than myself. Um, I wanted to see how God is moving in the Bay Area. Um, and I want to help strengthen the local churches here and help them make connections in their community. What it means to me to live, love, and speak boldly is, is just living your life through Christ, you know. Um, just living like Christ, loving like Christ, and just speaking like Christ. I mean, you can just, if you can just be like that, I think you're a pretty bold person. Living, loving, and speaking boldly to me means to put God first in every situation where you live, uh, whoever it is that you love, and, and just however you speak, be bold. To me, to live boldly is to be open about my faith and uh, openly love others with Christ's love. When people ask us on the street, why are you cleaning up this trash? Or why are you doing our yard? Instead of just saying, because we love you, because we love Oakland, we need to say, for me, I need to say, because God loves you, and he has put it in my heart to share that love with you and to do your yard, because he loves you. I, I need to love others with the love that God loves me with. And uh, not to, hide that or try to stop loving people because I don't agree with them or because I just don't feel like I have a connection with them. I need to love them anyway because that's what God wants me to do. He wants me to love everyone. I really need to be open about my faith and sharing with others why I believe in such an awesome and powerful God and why I do the things I do, why I take a week out of my summer to go to Oakland where it's not necessarily the uh, safest place. So definitely speaking boldly, I need to do that 24-7. Um, just like say his word and like have confidence in it. I'm kind of like a very shy person. I'm not talkative with a lot of people when I first meet them. So I feel like speaking boldly is kind of um, going out of my comfort zone and talking to people, sharing the gospel with them. And at the same time, like I feel like loving is like not like my own love for them. It's kind of like God's love um, that I have experienced and I like show it to other people. I think to me, it means to not be as concerned about myself as about others and about what God thinks about me. Um, because it's very easy to be selfish and live for myself, to speak for myself and put others down. And 
um, to love only because it makes me feel good, but to live love and speak boldly means to live for something higher than yourself. Speak to build others up and not yourself and to love uh, even if you're let down. Like the most important thing I learned that like is that I need to put him in the center of my life and I need to really trust him and rely on him because I had a lot of doubts um, thinking that I can do everything and I was like can God really do this for me but through VBS and everything I realized that he is in control of everything. I really learned how to become bold in my faith and how to spread um, God's word confidently and uh, like this week I like before I usually I used to be really nervous spreading his word you know I used to like um really just forget like what to say or I just become really nervous and now this week God's really taken me out of my comfort zone and really shown me like how to be confident like spreading his word. God has been teaching me to trust him a lot and not to lean on myself and my own strengths because he will give me the strength to do what he wants me to do and he won't leave me alone. And something new I learned was you know, it wasn't really based around how we were talking about what we were learning from today, but something we realized was that our church is way too comfortable. Uh, we think, you know, oh, you know, we're praying for this community, we're praying for these missionaries, we're, we're fine, we don't have to go out anywhere. So seeing what we're doing here and thinking about it and talking over it and then comparing it to what we've been doing in the church, at home, it's not even close. We need to start moving around going out into our community, not just once a year in every special occasion, but as often as possible. I've really learned how, like, like, like from my other peers, I've really learned about, like, a, a good example of, like, a Christian, how a Christian life should be lived, and, like, how uh, I've learned that really a prime example of, like, how to spread God's word. I think to not perform, because, like, I'm a performer, I can get up on stage and deliver lines and make them sound real. But um, like we were talking in General Assembly or whatever it's called earlier that uh, we don't share the gospel to perform for God. Uh, we share it because of what he's done in us. So I think that's a big thing, uh, just being genuine and not performing. I feel like um, I've learned a lot. Uh, I came into the, uh, I came into the uh, mission trip kind of skeptical because we were going to be working in the city of Oakland and mm -hmm. I believe that um, God has changed my um, viewpoint and um, has changed the way my my mindset is on um, the people of Oakland and it's just not as bad as it is and I'm just really thankful for that. Um, also, uh, I find it really encouraging to just see others in prayer and just um, experiencing God. The Amazon River is the largest river in the world. It puts out so much fresh water that 200 miles out into the ocean, it is essentially fresh water that's drinkable. Here in the Bay, we want to be the same thing with the living water of Jesus Christ and push the living water of Jesus Christ out throughout the rest of the world. For many students, it can feel like the world they live in is one of nothing but limits. For our God, there are no limits. Ephesians 3.20 says, And to him who is able to do above and beyond all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. In 2017, students will explore and engage the limitless length, width, height, and depths of our Heavenly Father. Join us for Limitless. 2017.